Now here, you see I got yellow Peruvian potatoes. I've already boiled them. I let them cool down. But one thing, once I saw that they were cooked, just drain all the water and let them dry out. Why do you let them dry out? Because the less moisture they have, the less watery the potatoes are gonna be. Less watery equals more flavor. So what I gotta do now is just press this through the sift. Just like how I did in my Causa video. I'm gonna put a link in the description box. You just pass the potatoes through the sift. It's gonna come out super fluffy. See, now there's nothing. Look at all those little fibers of potato. Now, just continue the process with the rest of your potatoes. Right. A liter of milk is probably not one of the best milks, and I already know that most Peruvians are gonna laugh that I'm using this milk, but whatever. Okay, guys, so now you can see the potato has been pressed. Look how soft and light airy it is. At this point, you can basically add flour, eggs, and you have a gnocchi. Believe it or not, it's that easy. Right? Plus, if you're Peruvian and you already tried this, you can make papa rellenas, which is basically a big deep fried gnocchi filled with beef and egg and an olive. We're gonna make mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna try my best to show you the most practical way to make mashed potatoes, which is the way that we do it in most restaurants. All right guys, so first thing you gotta do, heat up your pan. I'm gonna put it in the saucepan. It's gonna be a lot easier. I got about two tablespoons of butter. I just want that butter to render down. And then I'm gonna add my milk. I'm gonna add some garlic salt. Let the butter infuse with the garlic salt. Make it a lot easier to season all the potatoes. Before it burns too much, no. Probably added about a quarter liter, so let's say about a cup and a half. Let that heat up a tiny bit, not too much. Just let the flavor infuse. I'm gonna add a little bit more milk because it's only about halfway up the uh, pot. At this point, I do want you to, to see how it tastes. Guys, remember that this should be a little bit strong. The flavor's gonna be strong because you're gonna add the potatoes into it and it's gonna season the rest of the potatoes. Just a tiny bit more garlic salt. Guys, don't worry, if you need to add a little bit more milk, if you see that the potatoes are getting too dry, don't worry, you can add the milk afterwards. All right, let's start off little by little. I'm gonna add two spoons of the potatoes. And let's try mixing it in softly. But you are gonna need a whisk. This does it a lot quicker. But guess what? I don't know where my whisk is, so I'm gonna just do it with this. As you can see, it is thickening up already. Get out a little bit more. Just add a little by little. Alright, see, add a little bit more. Potatoes at this point, lower your heat. You don't want the bottom to burn. Always keep mixing and mixing. Right, let's see. Just keep whisking, keep whisking, keep whisking. The only thing you have to do different is to use a whisk, guys. It's gonna be a lot easier, and that guarantees that you do not have any grumps, lumps, or anything else. I am gonna add just the rest of the potato at this point. Just mix and fold, fold and mix, mix and fold, cut and mix, how you wanna say it. My favorite seasoning, a little bit of white pepper, and just a touch, a touch, touch, small touch of nutmeg. For the spinach mixture, this is super easy, guys. Get your pan really, really hot. Put a little bit of olive oil. Rip up your spinach leaves. Spinach and olive oil goes amazing together. You want to slide down a bit? Believe it or not, guys, that's it. Now here, I already have my squash. It's already boiled. If you don't have time to boil your own squash, you know what, you can definitely just get it canned. I know they sell it in purees already. But here, with the spinach, don't get it pureed, guys. It's bright green color that you need. So, so, just add a little bit of liquid so it can blend better. I'm gonna put a little bit more, just a splash of milk. A little bit of garlic salt. 